After the heavy hitting attack of the Union Western Iron Brigade, Stonewall Jackson saw his line about to break in two, so he called for his last reserves into the fight for the northern part of the battlefield. His reserves consisted of Hood's division, made up of the brigades of Wolford's Texans and Law's Mississippians. Wolford's Texas Brigade was sent into a frenzy after being denied their breakfast and charged to the front. Their charge broke up the Federal offensive and sent them running. The 1st Texas did not stop chasing the retreating Federals and chased them into and through the corn. Without the support of other regiments, their ranks were ferociously raped by canister and rifle shot and were sent reeling. The 1st Texas Infantry Regiment, nicknamed the Old Ragged First for their dirty and ragged appearance, was raised from the counties of East Texas. The 1st Texas was formed in August of 1861 and was presented their famous Wigfall flag by Jefferson Davis and would first see combat in the Peninsula Campaign. They would rise to prominence along with their brigade after the battles of Gaines Mill and 2nd Manassas. During the Maryland Campaign, the 1st Texas would be led by Lieutenant Colonel Philip A. Work. They would be attached to the famed Texas Brigade under the command of William T. Wilford. 1st Texas along with their brigade would be the first Confederates to spill blood on the night before the Battle of Antietam during a skirmish in the East Woods. Due to this fight, they were placed in reserves for the fighting in the morrow. As the battle wary Confederates started the route and the Confederate line was about to break in two, the Texan Brigade was rushed forward to fill the crumbling line and succeeded in stopping the Federal push, but at their own demise. The first rushed forward only to be shot to pieces in their counterattack, losing 186 out of their 226 combatants, a casualty rate of 82.3%. This staggering casualty rate was the highest suffered by any regiment, north or south, on a single day during the entire war. The first is equipped with the M1842 Springfield musket, the M1853 infield rifle, and the M1855 Springfield rifle with their bayonets. The M1842 Springfield smoothbore musket has two types of ammunition the medium range large 69 caliber round ball or the powerful short range bucking ball. The M1853 infield and the M1855 Springfield rifles are both exceptional at medium and long ranges with their 58 caliber Manet ball. The Old Ragged First is dressed differently from the standard cadet gray uniforms. Their uniforms consisted of a butternut jacket with black collar and cuffs. Their pants range from Union Blue to Confederate butternut and gray. Their covers range from butternut kepis to brown and black felt hats. You can see some sporting different emblems on their kepis. The first can be seen carrying two different flags. Unlike the majority of Confederate regiments, the first carried two flags, their famous Wigfall flag and the standard Confederate battle flag. In war fights, you can find the first Texas attacking Miller's cornfield along with 18th Georgia as they fight to regain the cornfield from the defending Federals. Now what will you do? Will you charge into the corn with the fiery Texans or drive them back? 